Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to the Bold Talk by Joe podcast. Hopefully, everybody's doing great. This is your host, Joe. And today, I welcome you to the Gen Z episode, where, where we are going to talk about all things related to genera- Generation Z. And we'll be discussing what makes genera- Generation Z unique, what they care about, and how they are changing the world. So sit back relax and let's get started to start things off let's talk about what makes gen z unique born between mid 90s to mid 2010s generation gen z i keep saying generation it's really hard to say it gen z is the most diverse generation in history with a wide range of racial and ethnic backgrounds we all know that right and if you don't now you do They are also the first generation to grow up and completely immersed in the digital world with social media and technology playing a big, playing a significant role in their lives, right? Because it's all about technology now. It's all about the phones and YouTube and this. It's all technology. But what really sets Gen Z apart is their values. They care deeply about social justice, environmental issues, and equality for all. That's what it seems like Gen Z, what what they care about the most, right? They're also more accepting of different lifestyles, identities, and cultures from previous generations. So what are some of the issues that Gen Z cares about the most? Let's start with social justice. From Black Lives Matter movement to hashtag Me Too, Gen Z is leading the charge in demanding change and accountability from those in power. They are also pushing more diversity and representation in media, politics, and other areas of society. When it comes to environment, I believe Gen Gen Z is incredibly, I say Jay-Z, (laughs) Jay-Z, Gen Z is incredibly passionate about combating climate change and protecting the planet. They are calling for more sustainable practices and policies and are leading the way in reducing waste and carbon emissions. That's what these, uh, that's what these Gen Zers are doing. Finally, Gen Z is also breaking down barriers when it comes to gender, sexuality, and identity. They are more accepting of different gender expressions and sexual orientations, and uh, also they're pushing more inclusive policies and representation in all areas of society. Some, sometimes uh, us from different generations, if you're from a different generation, you look at the generation of Gen Z, and we look at them differently, right? Because there's a lot of stuff going on right now with the identity of people, and it's hard for us to understand um, this subject because we grew up in a different time where this was way different, and some of this other stuff was not liked or was not approved, And, oh, sorry, I'm doing this with my hands. No, I am not Illuminati, so don't even start with your shit. Oh, Joe from the podcast is the Illuminati. Look, he's doing the triangle shape. No, I am just doing this because if you're just listening to the show, I'm going to have this on YouTube. I I have my hands put together, and uh, I was reading something online about, um, about the people that do that, that they're part of the Illuminati. Look, I am not an Illuminati. Okay, this is something that I do. I'm not, <laughs> I don't have any money or fame or nothing. Okay, so don't get all excited that I'm part of the freaking group, whatever the hell that is. So the, the, let's just drop that right there. But I'll just move my hands down so they don't start talking smack about me on social media. But uh, so when you're, when you're raised in a different time and your parents, are in from a different generation sometimes we don't accept the changes we don't accept the things that go on because we look at it as wow that's really weird why are they doing these these kids are screwing our world this is but it's the same thing they thought about the other generations 
look at this music. Why are they playing rock and roll? These guys are bullshit. And then, uh, oh, look at hip hop. They're a bunch of criminals. They're a bunch of animals, and they're 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 saying a bunch of stuff, and they're and they're trying to shoot up the places. But that's music, right? And that's different generations saying things about that that they don't like. They they like their Frank Sinatra and their whatever the heck they used to listen to back in the day. It doesn't mean that that kind of music is bad. It doesn't mean that rock and roll is bad. It doesn't mean that if you like rock and roll, you're from the devil or you like to do LSD or anything like that. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that if you like hip hop music, you're a criminal automatically and you have to buy a gun and shoot people. That doesn't mean any of that. It's just that times change. Generations are different and they look at things differently. They like different kinds of music. It's different. They don't smoke cigarettes like we used to or they don't smoke cigars like I do or other people do. They like to puff on electric cigarettes or whatever, you know, whatever is it that it's part of their generation. And we have to learn to accept some things. Some things are a little bit out there and wild that make a big commotion. But there is things that they are doing good. And we have to help instead of talking trash to the generation. We have to help them because that is the generation of the future right now. That is who's going to be the working class. Some people are like, well, these kids are idiots and these kids are never going to do anything. And these kids are changing everything for the worse. It's a different generation. And we have to be able to look at the good and the bad. And try to tell them, hey, this is not good. But we have to look at it with an open mind. We can't be stuck and like, wow, my parents told me that this is not right. We have to look at it in a, we have to think outside the box and look at things in a different light. Okay? Because they are completely different than than us or than other generations. So then your mom and dad's generation or your grandparents' generations are completely, they're completely different, right? So how is Gen Z changing the world? Right. That's what we all kind of want to know. What are they doing? One major way is through their use of technology and social media, which we understand that now with their ability to connect with others around the world instantly. Gen Z is able to mobilize and organize for causes that they care about. Right. So it goes viral and it gets a bunch of views and they're able to spread the word faster. They're also using social media to hold those in power accountable to spread awareness about important issues. We do understand that some people, their, their issues, their, their importance of issues are different than some, right? And they have their own personal agendas and they kind of go above and beyond what they're supposed to be doing and it gets a little bit wild. And we understand that, but not everybody is like that. Another way uh, Gen Z is making an impact is through their entrepreneurship and innovation. Many members of Gen Z are starting their own businesses and using their skills to create a positive change in the world. I think that a lot of people are trying to do a positive thing and some people are are not. Some people have a different view, but that's going to be no matter what generation you are from. Okay, that's going to be whatever generation you're from. There's always going to be people that are going a little bit extreme and there's going to be people that think outside the box and there's going to be people that are uh, thinking how they're supposed to be like I don't know if there's a right way to think but they are more conscious of what they're about to say or do so there you have it a brief overview of what makes Gen Z unique what they care about and how they're changing the world if you're a member of Gen Z we love to hear from you what issues do you care about the most How do you see yourself making a difference in the world? Leave me a comment. Send me a message on Twitter. Anything that you want to you want to talk to me about some things that you find important. And I'm more than happy to hear to hear you out. And uh, hopefully uh, we can make another Gen Z episode. So thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you until next time. Peace.